right, everybody, welcome to the wood shop. I'll give you a little truck update. Been a little, been a minute or two since I gave you an update. So, uh, what we've done recently is Cole and I replaced the uh, spark plugs, and um, there are actually eight spark plugs. Um, for those of you that didn't know that, uh, it's a V8. Um, so, we replaced, oh, I'm just joking. So, there's, we replaced all eight spark plugs, and uh, weren't too hard to get to. The ones in the back, um, the back corners were a little bit, you know, a little more tricky, but not, you know, not bad. Um, so that was that. And so let me crank it up for you and let you hear it. Um, I don't know that it made big a difference, but it was a pretty cheap kind of thing. Just kind of go through it. And the spark plugs didn't look bad. I'll show you those. So there are the spark plugs. Um, I don't think they were really that old. Um, yeah, I don't know much about diagnosing these things, but um, yeah, they didn't look too bad. So, I don't know. I don't know much about spark plugs. I just thought I'd show it to you. There's Cole. Hi. Hello. Cole's getting tall. He eats a lot, too. All right, so hold on. We'll show you the next thing. All right, another thing I did was replace this line, this uh, steel line back from here. And I got one clip on it, and the other one is kind of wonky. I got to work on that. But uh, I got, uh, and I got it replaced there. I got a piece of grass hanging on there. But, um, and I also got uh, that replaced, so I'll get a little closer. And I got this replaced too. I got to get a new piece of hose for this vent. Anyway, I got this, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I got this replaced up to that joint up there. It's kind of hard, like I said, it's kind of hard to see. Sorry for the shaky. But I got that done too. Um, so we're good uh, good back to here, so to speak. And uh, I haven't even gotten into the brakes yet. I got a, I think we got a leaker over here on this side. Just a little bit. I still haven't driven this thing on the road. I'm not going to until I'm uh, pretty, pretty confident on how this thing's going to run. So... Still just driving around the field occasionally. I want to show you this too. This is uh, I got this from uh, Dennis Carpenter, and, and I don't know if this is an original Ford part that they slapped their sticker on, or this is a um, you know remake. I mean not remake, but a uh, you know what I mean, where they made it themselves and made it look like theirs. I don't know. This is a it's a Ford box. So I don't know if they just did it or not. But anyway, if it was an old, new old stock, as they say, or not. But anyway, that's what they, uh, that was the rubber hose um, that fit there with the part that bolted on the axle. So anyway, don't know. Going in the pile. So uh, future plans for this thing. I've got to, um, I got to get the carburetor rebuilt. Um, Cutworm59 says that I can do it myself. Um, he said that he would help me. He lives in Arkansas, but he said that he would help me, I guess, over the phone or pictures or something. He says that I can do it. Um, I know I've seen a bunch of diagrams, and there's other people on YouTube that have done it, so, you know, we might give it a whirl, but it's leaking a little bit, and it runs pretty... It Sometimes it runs good, and sometimes it doesn't, so um, I figure that's a pretty easy fix. I did buy one of those rebuild kits um, for that, So, but, there, man, there's a whole bunch of little bits and pieces, and my hands are not that nimble and I don't know we'll see uh, but anyway carburetor needs to be rebuilt all the brakes uh, got to go through everything uh, as far as brakes never done it before so this will be new uh, and got to get the brakes and all situated um, I have three pretty decent tires this tire is splitting a little bit so I'm definitely gonna have to at least find a used tire for that one before we can ride down the road um, as far as that goes, we got lights. I think you've all seen that. We do have lights and uh, everything. Um, so that's the next thing, carburetor, and then got to go through the brakes and all that kind of stuff. And um, future plans after that, uh, past that, I like. To, I need to take the bed. I would like to take the bed off, and I will at some point. Um, that's my old tag, by the way. Um, take the bed off because there's more brake lines that probably and fuel lines that need to be replaced and i think it'd be a whole lot easier if that bed was off um plan right now is to not put the bed back on and to make a flat bed out of it um i think that would be a lot more handy and i also like the look of it so 
And there's nothing special about that bed. In fact, it's got a humongo hole in the, in the back there. See? See the daylight? And it's no better here. It's in pretty bad shape. And um, you can buy these beds uh, actually in pieces. This is a 77, so you can buy and you can actually make your own. The sides are not bad, I'm sure. It's got a little bit and you can actually replace it. But I, I, I want to go to flatbed route anyway. And I'm um, probably going to make my own um, combination of wood and steel. So we'll see what happens with that. That's future plans. And of course, I'd like to paint it eventually if we can get it running good. I'm pretty confident about how it runs. And um, got a little bit of roof work that's going to have to be done. Doesn't look too bad though. Never done it, but it doesn't look too bad at the same time. And uh, so, anyway, that's the uh, sort of the very, very, very long term plans, immediate plans, brakes carburetor be our immediate immediate plan so anyway just want to give you a little update of what's been going on around here um just been staying busy um and i've uh, been, been spending as much time as i could on it um over here uh where i'm at um so i don't get a ton of time but when i do i try to spend a few minutes doing something uh because it is enjoyable so and so i hope you're all doing well and i uh, appreciate you watching the video so that's it from here so from the wood shop take it easy